Okay, so yesterday we talked about adding and subtracting three numbers. So let's do a quick review and then we're going to work on some word problems. So let's say that I have three plus three plus two. And I want to know what that equals. Well, I can draw pictures to help me add all three numbers together because the plus sign means to add. So let me draw some dots. I'm going to draw three dots here plus three dots here plus two more. And let's see how many all together that equals. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three plus three plus two equals eight. I'll write it in here. Okay, let's look at another way we could solve this problem. So we talked about yesterday how we can um, see if we know what two of the numbers added together equals. So we would add both of those numbers first, and then we would add the third number. So if I look at this right here, I have been working with my addition facts, and I know that 3 plus 2, I know what these two numbers equal. And I know that 3 plus 2 equals 5. So I can add those together in my head. I don't even have to um, use any pictures. Well, I still need to add this number right here. So I need to add the plus sign, 3. So I added two of my numbers together. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Well, now I have to bring this number down. And now I need to see what 3 plus 5 equals. And I know that 3 plus 5, well, actually, let me use a number line. Let me go get one real quick. Okay, and now I can find out what 3 plus 5 equals. I can find the number 3 on my number line, and then I will add 5 hops. 1, oops, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 3 plus 5 equals 8, and so that is the same as 3 plus 3 plus 2 equals 8. Let's solve a quick subtraction problem. So I'm actually going to clear this page. Okay, let's say that I start with the number 9, and then I'm going to take away 4, and then I'm going to take away 1 more. And I want to know what that equals. So I need to figure out 9 minus 4 minus 1. So let's try and figure this out. Let's use some pictures to help us. Some dots. I'm going to draw nine dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, the, the minus sign means to take away. So I need to take away some dots. Nine minus four. Let's cross out four dots. Help me count. One, two, three, four. Well, I'm not done yet because now I also need to take away one more. There we go. So now, how many do I have left? I have one, two, three, four. Nine minus four minus one equals four. We can use a number line for this too. All I would do is I would start at the number nine. And now if I'm taking away, I'm subtracting, I go to the left. So I'm going to um, subtract four hops. Help me count. One, two, three, four. Well, now I also need to subtract one more, so let's do one more hop. One. And then what number did I land at? Four. All right, let's use these in some word problems. 
On Monday, Jose picked up two pieces of trash on the playground. On Tuesday, he picked up three pieces of trash. On Wednesday, he picked up two more pieces of trash. How many total pieces of trash did Jose pick up on the playground? Well, Jose seems very helpful. He was picking up trash on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So he was helping for three days. Let's set up our number sentence. So on Monday, Jose picked up two pieces of trash. Let's pick, put the number two here. On Tuesday, he picked up three pieces of trash. Let's put the number three here. On Wednesday, he picked up two more pieces of trash. How many total pieces of trash did Jose pick up on the playground? So we are adding the two pieces, the three pieces, and the two more pieces all together. So what symbol do I need? Do I need a plus sign or do I need a minus sign? I need a plus sign because the plus means we're joining. We need to add all together. So now let's add these numbers together. Well, I know what 2 plus 3 equals. 2 plus 3 equals what? 5. 2 plus 3 equals 5. And then let's add 2 more. Let's see what 5 plus 2 equals. Well, we can use our number line if we want to. Start with the number 5, and then I'm going to add 2 hops. Ready? 1, 2. And what number did I land on? The number 7. So how many pieces of trash did Jose pick up? He picked up 7 pieces of trash on all 3 of those dates. Let's go do one more problem together. Dana had eight marbles. George took two of her marbles. Then one more marble rolled away. How many marbles does Dana have now? Well, let's look at the numbers we're starting with. Dana starts with eight marbles. She might be playing at recess with some marbles. I'm going to write the number eight. George took away two of her marbles. So out of those eight, George took two of them. Then one more marble rolled away. So then one more leaves. How many marbles does Dana have now? Well, if George is taking marbles and if a marble's rolling away, are we adding all together or are we taking away and subtracting? We are subtracting. So I'm going to put my minus sign, starting with eight, minus the two George took away, minus the one more that rolled away. And now we need to find out how many marbles does Dana have now? Well, I want to draw a picture to help me solve this. So I'm going to start with eight marbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the minus sign means to take away. So first, I'm taking away two marbles because those because George wasn't being very nice and he took away two. So let's cross out one, two. Then one more marble rolled away. So we need to take away one more. Ready? One. And how many marbles does Dana have now? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So Dana has how many marbles now? Five. And the way we would solve this on our number line is we would start and find the number eight. Then we're going to do two hops to the left. Help me hop. Ready? One, two. Then we need to add one more. Or sorry, we need to take away one more and subtract one more hop. And what number did I land at? Five. Good job. Now you're going to get to practice in your journal adding and subtracting three numbers.